to go cross country skiing. We just got a bunch of snow the other day, like seven inches maybe, and the tracks are groomed like everywhere. So I'm meeting up with one of my best friends and it's gonna be our first ski of the season. <laughs> and it's gonna be pretty slow because again, it's the first ski of the season. I was going to wax my skis, but then I kind of forgot or I ran out of time, but whatever, that's probably for the best that I can't go too fast. Uh, speaking of fast, do you like my glasses? They definitely make me look faster than I actually am, <laughs> but it gives me the confidence for sure. But yeah, we're meeting at a little park in Stillwater, Minnesota. Neither of us have been here before, but it's like a smaller course and the conditions were still pretty decent, even though it snowed a few days ago. Um, so yeah, excited to check out a new spot. Um, yeah, and that's like one thing that I just love about cross country skiing is that I can explore new places and parks that I wouldn't normally go to, especially in the winter. And I feel like seeing landscape in the winter time feels like completely, like a completely different place than if you were to see it in the summertime. So one of the reasons why I love to ski. And if any of you are skiers out there and are wondering, I do classic only. I did try skate skiing one time and I ended up having to have my friend switch skis. She was on classic and she's done skate before because I just was having the hardest time with it. Um, but yeah, I'm a classic. I was not planning on doing any type of vlogmas. I thought like maybe I would just put out one or two videos this month. I definitely do not have the time or the energy to do a daily vlog post. And to a lot of other people's points, like my like Monday through Thursdays are not interesting at all. Um, I go to work, I come home, and I sit on the couch and knit and like watch TV and take the dogs for a walk. And I don't want to just like post videos of that all month long. Um, so I am making it a goal to do one a week, like focusing on the weekends when I have more time to dig into different type of knitting things or spinning or some fun outdoor activities so yeah we'll see like maybe next week I don't even post anything this might just be a one vlogmas type post but I'm still gonna make it a goal to do it once a week because it's kind of fun to join in on the festivities so yeah let's go skiing Oh, and I should obviously mention what I'm wearing. It's like the whole reason I knit this sweater, the Matawaka sweater by um, Lincoln Newman, um, made of Icelandic wool, which I feel like cross-country skiing is like the perfect scenario to wear this sweater because honestly, it's kind of too warm to wear inside because we're usually blasting the heat regardless. Um, so it's like... It's already 37 degrees today, so it is a bit warm, especially for skiing, but it's windy, which makes it feel like 10 degrees warmer. So I think it's just the perfect garment to wear. And then I have on my hipster hat from Petite Knit. I made this with Knit Picks yarn. I feel like I talk about this hat like every episode, so that's as much as I'm gonna say about that. But yeah, decked out and hand knits, can't go wrong.
you are probably thinking, what the heck is she doing with that yarn? Um, if you watched my last episode, you would know that I had differences between um, the first skein that I spun up and the final three skeins that I spun up for the DRK knitted to spin it. Um, and I was worried about that different skein of yarn, like it's obviously going to look different in the sweater. So I was thinking of using it in the ribbing or I don't know, somewhere like unique in the sweater, not like mixed in with the body. But I also don't know if I really want like a loosely applied yarn. And that's what the issue was. It was just more loosely applied than the rest of the skeins that I have. And someone actually commented, they were like, well, why don't you just ply it tighter? And I don't know why I didn't really like think of doing that. I kind of, well, I kind of did, but I thought maybe I wasn't allowed to, or it just wasn't gonna work or ah, who knows. The fact of the matter is I am doing that right now and it is working. I definitely went into it with the mindset of it being just an experiment and if it started like screwing everything up in the minute the beginning I would just stop but yeah no this is great so if you ever have this problem I highly recommend just apply it tighter <laughs> not a big deal <laughs> um skiing was great today by the way the conditions were like perfect especially for our first ski it was really nice. The length of the trail wasn't quite as long, which again is perfect. So it was our first one of the season. So we were pretty tired. Um, we did end up going to Culver's after. If you're familiar with Culver's, you know how good it is. And yes, I did get a butter burger. And then we perused our local Target afterwards. And yeah. Going to Target with your friends is just a lot of fun. Even when you're just walking down the cleaning aisle, pointing out which cleaning solution you like to use compared to the one that they like to use. I don't know, it's stupid and fun. <laughs> um, then we parted ways, I came home and I started working on this. I think once I'm done plying this, I'm gonna do some knitting. Um, not gonna lie, I'm getting pretty sick of gift knitting because I've been doing that for the last like month. Um, and it's all just like little fiddly accessories, except for obviously the sweater that I knit for my niece. But I'm just ready to work on like garments for myself again. I was working on the shawl that I started a couple months ago and that's turning out great. There's just so much further to go and um, it's kind of just the same pattern throughout. I just, I'm ready to mix it up. Um, all I have on my needles is the final pair of socks for my nephew and the shawl. So I think it's okay if I cast on a third onto my needles. Um, and then all I have left for gift knits is the socks that I'm working on, a pair of socks for my brother-in-law, and then mittens for my niece. And then I'm wiping my hands clean of the gift knits and just going back to making garments for myself. So yeah, with that said, I think I am going to cast on a sweater tomorrow. I cannot decide if I want to do the Rose Off-Grid sweater, which I have already swatched for, or if I wanna do that um, flower power pullover sweater by Deegan. Um, they're both great patterns. I feel like I should do the off-grid sweater because technically I got that yarn first, um, but I'm just so dang excited about that flower power one. Hmm. I guess we'll find out tomorrow which one I end up casting on. But for now, I'm just gonna finish flying this up and then relax on the couch for the rest of the night. I don't really have any social plans tonight, which having no plans on a Friday night just feels extra cozy or a Saturday night too. Like nights that people usually go and hang out with people. I don't know, I just sometimes like to be by myself and just chill. 
And I'm sure a lot of you are the same way. Like we're all knitters, we like to hang out and knit. Um, but yeah, I don't have plans tomorrow either. I, I'm gonna definitely do a few hours of spinning. I usually have to save spinning for the weekend because once I start, I can't stop and it's like six hours of me spinning. Um, and I'm gonna listen to an audiobook as well. So those are my big plans and I absolutely cannot wait. <laughs> Good morning, or maybe I should say afternoon. Um, I've been having the coziest morning so far, just sitting in the corner section of the couch and catching up with all of the other Vlogmas episodes that are out in the world now. And it's been a ton of fun, just like getting a peek into everybody's daily life um, a little bit outside of knitting but still obviously catching up on the projects they're working on it's super fun um, so yeah obviously there's a lot to catch up on on that and the more exciting thing is is that I did in fact cast on for a sweater and I decided to go with the off-grid sweater by Rose Knitwear because I got the yarn first, I already swatched for it, so I was good to go, and I'm really excited about this and that I chose this sweater as well. Um, like I was saying yesterday, I've just been making all of these little accessory type projects, and I feel like with accessories, it's not as mindless as knitting like a body of a sweater because there's all of these different things you have to do and like color work and increasing decreasing you know you get it um so this is the first time in what feels like a month that i've just been able to like somewhat mindlessly knit on something and like a big project at that and it's exactly what i needed so this is how far i am i know like it's not even worth showing, but I do have um, the swatch here, which I have shown you before, and this is what I made a couple episodes ago when I did that collab with Hobby Yarn, um, who, by the way, sent me the yarn to make this sweater. This is the Friends wool that they have, um, and... Yeah, I really like it so far. Very affordable yarn, which is nice. And I just wanted something super colorful and I believe I will be able to achieve that with this sweater here. So yeah, not much else to say so far with it, obviously, because I'm just starting out, but I sure have been enjoying working on it and I'm definitely going to continue more on this throughout the day. But I did also want to show you um, one little finished object slash whip. And that is the Fairbacken socks by Erica Guselius. Uh, and I've shown you these little ones in the last episode, but I have since finished a second pair I haven't blocked them yet, so they don't look quite as clean as these, but here is the second color that I have for them. So I reused the brown in the color work section of this one. I introduced orange, and then um, I will be making a third pair using the teal color again and then the color work section will be with this orange so it's going to be a little three pack of socks and then I'm going to use all three colors because I do have quite a bit of yarn that I'll have left over. I'm going to use all three colors to make one adult pair for his dad. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, as you can see, um, I've been making a lot of socks. I did the bear paw sock challenge too, which I completed in time. I think most people did because it's using DK weight yarn. Um, 
But yeah, so I made those socks last week and then I've been making these socks. Um, so I just needed a little break from socks, even though I love hand knit socks. I really loved the way the bear paws turned out. I don't have them to show right now because I've already worn them a few times. Um, I haven't even blocked them yet. I did not even tie in or like weave in the loose ends and there's a lot of loose ends on the inside. I just put them on my feet and wore them for a few days. So I, I need to block them and we have in the loose ends and then I'll show you the finished object maybe next week for next week's episode but yeah I don't really have anything else that I've been working on lately um I've definitely been in the vibe of like monogamous knitting lately I know I just cast it on a third project but I think I was just trying to really focus with getting these gift knits done but yeah, not a ton to show, I guess. I, I'm i going to sit and work on this for a bit longer, and then I think I'm going to take the dogs for a W. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. It's clear skies and sunny, which means it's going to be really cold. I think uh, it's going to be a high of 18 degrees Fahrenheit today, but that's okay, I am prepared, and we're just gonna all bundle up and go for a beautiful sunny walk. And then, yeah, like I said last night, I think I'll just get into some spinning later and listen to an audiobook. Um, that's pretty much my plan for the entire day. I don't know. It's been a pretty chill weekend. Last week was like insanely busy with all of the Thanksgiving festivities um, and like every day after that through the whole weekend I got a bit burnt out socially which does happen to me a lot. Like I get to points where I can't even like talk to people or respond to text messages or anything. I have to be just like completely alone and I'm trying to get into a good habit of balancing everything out but this time of year with there being just so many um, social events with the holidays and stuff it can get a bit tricky. So when I have a day like this when I can just be alone and knit all day I will snatch up that opportunity anytime but yeah. Um, I guess that's like all I really have for this week's episode. Hopefully I get anything done by next week. We'll see. But yeah, I might just cut in some footage of our walkie later. Um, and that'll be it. So thanks for tagging along on this first installment. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you do, feel free to leave a comment down below and like the video. And as always, if you're new here, welcome. Please hit subscribe and you'll never miss out on any future content from me. In the meantime, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you next week maybe. <laughs> Bye.